Hi guys, Dave's here. Well, if you're like me, we have a lot of books around um, what we've collected over the years. Well, I'm trying to downsize around the house. And a lot of times I just need a few of the articles in it. And you can take them to the scanner and scan some of them. But then you get these patterns that comes in some of these. You want to scan those. Well, it's kind of hard to do. Well, I bought a new little device. It's called Flip Pal. It's a scanner. You can scan photos on it right here. And it takes batteries. It powers it and everything. But you can take the door off of it. But you can take the door off of it here. Pop it up, set it out of the way. Now it'll let you flip it over and you can scan bigger items. So let me show you how it works here. Okay, you got something big like this right here. It's hard to scan that. It won't fit in your scanner. But this little device, it'll allow you to scan it. You know, it comes with an SD card and everything. And it takes four AA batteries. Okay, I turned it on, and now you're ready. So what we want to do is flip it over to scan. Now to scan this big item like this, we're going to have to scan it in segments. I don't know if you can see on the video here, but the scanner's got line marks here. So that you can line stuff up. And you line it up. There's a green button on the end, you hit scan. Now, what we do is just overlap it about an inch, hit scan. We'll do the whole thing this way. Do all one in and then go across the top. Or go across the top and then go across the bottom, either way. Let me finish doing this and then I'll take it to the computer and show you what we do. Okay, once you're done scanning, you can take your little card out and put it in the, the little SD. Thing. Now let's plug it into the computer here. Okay guys, when you first plug up your USB, this is what should pop up. The Your scanned photos will be in the DCIM folder, but we want to click on the toolbox here. That's where the software is at. And the software we're going to use on this one is called Stitch Scans. From here, you're going to go File, Open, and it's going to go to your scan folder. And then, you see I've scanned some old newspaper articles here too with this. It's great for that too. But, we go down here and hold the control key in and highlight all the ones that we scan. Get a little bit bigger here. Okay, that's the last one. Then we'll click open. Now it's going to go through some steps here. So once it gets finished here, 
the picture will pop up and as you can see I should have scanned probably just a little bit more on this top edge or the bottom edge down here when I'm scanning it but you get the ideal and everything just you know make sure you scan like an inch overlap and if you can keep it you know kind of even all the way across it'll, it'll do a little bit better job but this will let you digitize any of your patterns if, if you're like me you will accumulate a lot of books over the years and we seldom have more than one or two articles in a book that we, we want to keep or something or patterns like these but in this way down it lets us scan them put them in our computer and then we can give the books to, to another woodworker our local library has a sale once a month I can give them to them and they down somebody else can have the enjoyment of them but this lets you digitize them and everything I've got one more here I've scanned and I'll show you it but this, this is another one that I, I scanned and this was just a hand drawing I'd done several years ago and I stitched it together and here it is now this one would have fit on the scanner but I just done this for, for another example and everything um, you know this is a great way guys to get rid of some clutter out of your shop or out of your cabinets or whatever and put them on your computer uh, I hope this helps somebody out remember this thing the scanner is called flip pal uh, you can I ordered mine from eBay but you can get this off uh, their website or Amazon or wherever you want but uh, I hope this helps somebody and thanks for watching guys.